Okay, so first of all, go down to the Sheet tab and right click on it and go to View Code. Then go to Insert and insert a module. And here we're going to type sub format charts, open and close brackets and enter. And that automatically puts in the end sub. Then we need to define a variable. So we'll go dim chart object as chart object. Then we'll start a for loop. So we'll go for each chart object in active sheet dot chart objects and this will loop through all of the charts in the active sheet then we need to close off this for loop so we'll go next chart object and so when it reaches this line it will loop back around to the top again and it will loop through each of the charts in the active sheet then in the middle of this is where we put the formatting that we want to change. In order to get this formatting, I'm going to record a macro. So go to View and Macros and Record Macro. And OK. Then I'll double click on the line here and then change the color of it to orange. Then go back to View and Macros and stop recording. Then we can go back to the Visual Basic Editor window and we have Module 2 here now with the macro that we just recorded. And I'll copy all of this and go back to Module 1 and paste it into the middle of the for loop. Then we don't need the sub macro one part or any of the comments underneath and we also don't need the end sub here either we only want the part in the middle in the first line here we are activating the first chart and that happens when we click on it but you don't actually need to activate a chart to make changes to it in vba so we can just delete this line then in the next line, we are selecting the series, which is the line that we clicked on. In the line after that, we're doing something with the selection. But you don't need to select something in order to change it in VBA. So we can take this part here and cut it and then paste it in here to replace the selection and delete this here and combine those two lines together. Then we have visible equals true, which is the default option, so we don't need this. And we also have tint and shade equals zero, brightness equals zero, and transparency equals zero, which are all also default options, so we don't need those either. Then we're left with just the one line of code where we're actually changing something and that is when we change the color. And then the final part that we need to change is the bit here that says active chart. Because we don't want to format the active chart, we want to loop through all of the charts in the sheet. So we need to delete this and then replace it with chart object dot chart. And we're doing this because chart objects and charts are actually separate things. So the chart object is the shape in which the chart lives. Now that we've got the code set up, we can run this. And you'll see that the color of all of the lines change. If you want to save this macro to use it later, go to File and Save As and then change it from a workbook to a macro enabled workbook and save. Now we'll do this with another example. So I will record another macro and okay. 
And this time I'll double click on the X axis and change the number formatting so it is a custom number format and add. And then we'll go to view and macros and stop recording. Then we'll go back to the Visual Basic Editor. And in module two, now we have the macro that we just recorded and we can copy this and paste it into module one in the middle of the for loop. We don't need to change the color anymore, so I can comment out these lines of code. We don't need the sub macro part or the comments underneath. And we also don't need the end sub. We only want the code in the middle. In the first line here, we are activating the first chart, but we don't actually need to activate it in order to make changes to it. So we can just delete that. Then in the next line, we are selecting the X axis. And in the line under that, we're doing something with the selection. But you don't need to select something in order to make changes to it in VBA. So we can delete these two parts here and join these two lines together. And this is the part here that actually changes the number formatting. Then finally, we need to change the part here that says active chart because we don't want to make changes to the active chart. We want to loop through all of the charts in the sheet. So we have to change this to chart object dot chart. And now that we have this code set up, we can run the macro and the number formatting for the X axis in all of the charts changes. So no matter what the formatting is that you want to change, you should be able to record a macro to work out what the code is and then edit it in order to get it to work and put it inside of the for loop. Okay, and that is everything.